I'm just a lonely boy Lonely and blue I'm all alone I got nothing to do Well, I got everything You could think of But all I want Is someone to love Give me someone, yes, someone to love Someone to kiss Someone to hold At a moment like this I'd like to hear Just somebody say I'll give you my love Each night and day because he's so uh, young and, and so full of enthusiasm and so grand. strong in that handwriting. He has a sympathetic personality and a very keen mind. Concise thinking, he thinks in one straight line. Practical person, very good judgment, very versatile. There's a great many things he can do. He's optimistic, always optimistic. He can be very stubborn at times. If he makes up his mind, he's not going to do something. In five short years, Paul Anka, a young Canadian, has risen from obscurity in Ottawa to stardom in America's multi-million dollar entertainment industry. Many have wondered about the significance of this present-day phenomenon, the astonishing transformation of an entertainer into an idol, worshipped by millions of fans around the world. This is a candid look at Paul Anka from both sides of the footlights. The Paul Anka program before going in for the evening's performance. Well, the illustrated program before going in. Any more before going in, get a Paul Anka fully illustrated program. Any more before going in for the evening's performance? Paul, who's on? He's coming, son. I told him to do more. There we go. When did he go on? Oh, fellas, of all days to do this. Please. When did he go on? He went on exactly five minutes ago. Black shoes and stockings. Black shoes and stockings. In here, Bobby. Right. Well, if he went on five minutes ago, how come he's almost over? There might be five shows today. Five, five shows. shows? Five shows. He doesn't do anything new, is it? Give him my makeup and a bottle of sponge black. Okay. 
Good morning. Attacked on a Tuesday? That's right. Well, it's impossible. Well, look at the dull day there. You my wife? No, no, you just just forget they're even there. Huh? Just forget they're even there. Okay. Shoot! Shoot! Scalpel! Sponge! Sponge! Did you yell for him? We want Paul. Yeah, it's like being this way. Sure! Listen, I do this too much, gentlemen, from the tribune. Feature writer. Put it on the tie, please. Not for the hand. We got one minute? We got one minute? Yeah, get out there right now. Get out there, Bob. This is it. Key on the floor. When I was 15 years old, I mean, let's say when I was in school, I was a fat kid. I mean, that's putting it blunt. I was 170 pounds. I had a part here, had a part here. This went down, this went up, and this came down. And it's looked as crazy as it sounds. And I was a heavy kid, and I didn't look like I was meant for show business at all. But I had that bubbling inside of me, and I wanted to sing. And I did. After I got in the business, I made up my mind that one of the things that you got to have, or you're not going to go, you're going to go this far, and you're going to stop like that, and you can't get over it. you got to have appeal. And you got to look like you're in show business. Because if you don't, you're not going to make it. And I had to lose 35 pounds, so I went to the coast when I was out there, and I went to a gym, and I got a guy, and I said, now knock it off, I don't care how, I didn't eat. I worked out in the gym four hours a day, I steamed, running, pulling, everything. Had to fix my hair, had to, I got, it took my, it would look crazy, I kept putting it back, letting it grow, and I had to brush it, and I had to put stuff on it, and I had to keep doing it. It took me a year and a half to get it like that. So this do-it-yourself type song man Only hopes that you like his show I hope that I can sing for you five years from today Then I'll be in my twenties with my hair turning gray Though I'll be old and weary still I'll cheerfully say Thanks for helping my career get underway Yes, thanks to you On the subject of girls, you asked me about the reaction. Well, I'll tell you, this um, business that I'm in, um, I would say 60% of it is on emotion and uh, a word which we all know and I'm not in accord to using, but it's the only word which can sum up what I have to say, which is sex. As far as the girls who turn out and scream, which is what you mean, and stand there and cry and things like that, uh, it's something that I wouldn't knock. It's something that I am not against. It's something that I don't disapprove of. It's something I'm very happy of. And I think that they, 
kind of feel if I'm singing like a lonely boy. They like to feel, well, they're the girl that I'm singing about. Oh, I can't believe I love them. Hello. How are you, honey? Where's your candle? Did you come in with them? No. I'm good. I came by myself. You're alone? Mm -hmm. From New York? No, from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania? Mm -hmm. That everything, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'll come out afterwards. Let me go in and see if I'm late, and then we'll sign all your stuff out. Okay? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, it, uh, oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Going to see the show or what? Going to see the show? You can't. I couldn't go in the other thing. make it in. <laughs> oh, you look like a doll. Paul's features are excellent. Uh, his eyes are great. He has a great mouth. And uh, uh, it is no secret, last year uh, we had a plastic surgery job on his nose. Irvin Feld. Paul Anka's personal manager. The, the picture is entirely different than it was four years ago. And if you were to look at some of his pictures four years ago and then see Paul today, you wouldn't believe it's the same person. And people even say this now. If they haven't seen any of the new pictures and they then see him in person, I mean, this is the comment, and I'm sure that you must have heard it around. Gee, he doesn't look the same as his pictures. He's so handsome. Now, Paul will be 20 in July. And uh, it's very simple for me, personally, to have kept him working and to keep all the other young stars working on one-night tours. But then when you're planning a career, you say, well, where do they go from here? And, of course, the way you're recognized most uh, in the United States is if you're accepted in the big nightclubs. These are the plush clubs throughout the country, the biggest places, where it costs you a lot of money to sit down, you play to the sophisticated people, and I felt that if Paul could make it in this area, that I could capture every other area. And this is the way I groomed him, so that he was the youngest performer ever to appear in the big clubs that he appeared in. What a glow, what a thrill for me to say hello. You want the waiters to move around a little bit? Oh. All right, Bruno. Tell the waiters to, like, move around as if they've got action. You know what I mean? No, not... Uh, not I don't understand it. Jules Padel, owner of the world-famous Copacabana. Uh, I heard about Paul Anker about, uh... Two years ago. And then, um, <clears throat> how'd you hear about him? Well, I've heard about him through uh, the trade papers. Uh, I happened to uh, buy one of his records, the first one he made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the terrific personality. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the public just takes to him. They like him. As soon as he steps out on the floor, he has no problem with entertaining them in any shape or form. Well, Is it all right to light the cigar? Oh, yeah, yeah, please. No cover charge. <laughs> yes. Everybody in their lifetime writes a song. I think 98% of the people at one time in their life feel that they've got an idea for a song. It's a bug. I feel that I've been given a talent and a gift. And I made it my point to find out myself, take an inventory of myself, which I did. And I've been given a gift for writing, for singing, and for entertaining. When I write a song, I can sit down and say, well, I need a new record, and I'm going to write a hit record. And when I start that song, I know it's good. It's not egotistical. It's confidence. It's something that I have to produce for the people, and I have to know that it's good. I can't take a chance. I sit down and I play it. And the words that come out when I come to the final words, I know those are the words. I know that the violins are right. I know the melody is right. And I know the tricks are right. Hey, 
Hello, Paul. How, How are you? Are you? Surprise, Uncle Jules. How are you, buddy? How are you, How are you Paul? Uh, this is our last night. What do you got? I was upstairs in the room. I got something for you. No kidding. I've been wrapping it. How do you like this? <laughs> I'm wrapping gifts now. Uh, oh, that's beautiful, Paul. See that? You see this on him? Very, very nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Goes with your oh. ring. That's sure does. You picked it to yeah. go with your ring, you see? Goes with this ring. Right? Beautiful. Pretty close, too, without having anything there. Ah, beautiful. And I promised you something for your office? Yes. It's a picture of me, you know, so it's nothing exciting. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Look at this, baby. Isn't that nice? Yeah, I can't, uh... See that, Eric? Very, beautiful. very beautiful. Now, yeah. we were going to frame it, but we didn't know what kind of frame you wanted or where you wanted to put it, what do we go with? Yeah. Oh, well, I'll frame it. I'll frame it. That's yeah. beautiful. That's beautiful. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. I'll put it over would you, would you do the kiss again? I'll tell you what happened. The camera was just moving. <laughs> oh, that's, that's you. No, I think you just want us to retake that. Because well, because that's they both enjoy it, so we'll go do that again. Yeah. Sound then, huh? Thank you, Uncle Julie. <laughs> Do you want to get? Uh, no, keep talking, keep talking. Sure. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're talking about. Well, this was certainly a fast three weeks, Mr. Padel. Oh, my gosh. I don't know where it, how fast it went. I don't know where it went to. We always hate to see closing night. Yeah. I have a reservation for you. I have your airplane tickets on a six-something plane out of LaGuardia to Buffalo. Yeah. Now, I didn't know if you made reservations or not. Have you made reservations? No All right, so I made reservations for both of you in single rooms at the Sheraton Hotel in Buffalo. At I think a seven and a half dollar rate. Is that all right? Okay. I got a new song. Let's hear it. Paul knows what he's doing. Uh, great, creative uh, person. Writes very, very well. Writes both the lyrics and the melody. And uh, I can see from the time he was 15 up to the present day how with each song that he writes, he matures. The lyrics get different. The melodies have always been great. Oh, again. And I cry. Yes, I cry. Over. Many nights we sat down and we've discussed this thing till the wee hours of the morning. And I've told him, I said, Paul, you no longer belong to yourself. You belong to the world. God gave you something that uh, I don't think is given to anyone in the past 500 years. But he's given it to you, and he's given it to you to make other people throughout the world happy. And I, I truthfully believe, and uh, so far I've been lucky, I've been right, I truthfully believe that Paul will be the biggest star with an overall career that this world has ever known. Freedomland, an amusement park on the outskirts of New York City. Oh, this is the, this is the biggest mob we've had here uh, since the park opened, since opening day when we had 60,000. Were you afraid when, the, uh, when they were pushing? No, not particularly. It's Paul Anker that has to be afraid. They're not after me. Do a good job, girls. I thought now, maybe I mean, hit somebody. Oh, right. you'll see Paul like for anything. Take it easy now. You'll all see him. Just oh, take your time. Relax. <laughs> First time muted, no growl. Second time open, plenty of growl. Loud. You'll watch his back, boy. If he, if he likes it, he'll wiggle it. If it gets a little bit 
after I feel the audience the first four times, I might take something out. So be, be prepared to cut something and go to the next song. It's a special material thing. If I see the girls won't keep quiet, we'll cut it. <laughs> I don't care just to what they say Cause forever I will pray You and I, we will be as free As the birds up in the trees Love me, love me, love me so And never, never let me go Tonight, tonight, my love, tonight Forever I will love you forever Dance, dance on a little girl Tell me what I've done wrong Why should he hold you tight While they're playing our song Oh, I am watching you it cannot be Put your head on my shoulder Hold me in your arms Baby Won't you squeeze me once Baby Tell me that you love me too People say Love's a game A game you just can't win If there's a way I'll find it someday And then this fool will rush in Put your head on my shoulder Whisper in my ear I want to hear, baby, put your head on my shoulder. For 1962, the fall of 62, and I have to start working on it right away. 
I want you to do a college concert tour of the colleges only. But that I have to put together pretty soon because they book better than a year in front. What about a jazz? You know what I'd like to do, don't you? I'd like to take a big girl with them. A big girl? <laughs> then get a big band called, but use the band for various things. Pick out small units out of it and everything else. A college concert tour for the fall of 62. Uh, well, all I can say, where's my wife and daughter? What am I doing down here? You know what you're doing here. I know. I'm just a lonely boy, lonely and blue. I'm all alone. I got nothing to do. I got everything you could think of. But all I want is someone to love. Give me someone, yes, someone to love. Someone to kiss, someone to hold at a moment like this. I'd like to hear just somebody say, I'll give you my love each night and day. 